This is a Pod Dealers Network podcast. My apologies. It's a Tuesday afternoon and I'm just getting around to a court recording this. So uh, I know I'm really late uh, trying to get my swagger back. So uh, y'all be patient with me. Here we go. What is TWS podcast uh, episode, whatever? Who cares at this point? The rants of the vindicated. It's my podcast. I do what I want to. People, listen. Word, is it still live? It's not working for me, Rift. I'm going to keep going. I know I changed my voice at work. Bars on the radio. What is TWS podcast? Ready? ready. I feel like the end is staring at my watch and I'm feeling so new school. Suicide attempts. How many tries to take? Damn, 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 damn. Does he say do it or is I not going to be able to do it? I don't know. All right. No diss to New York. Uh, welcome to another episode of the What Is TWS podcast. As always, I'm your boy, J. Flam, And I sincerely appreciate you uh, rocking with me, giving me a little bit of your time, uh, spending these these few precious moments that you have with me uh, so that I can, I can talk my shit and uh, feel better about myself <laughs> during the week. I don't know. Um, man, good week. I guess, yeah, good week, good week, good week. You know, was able to connect with a lot of people and uh, really had some like some heartfelt. I feel like you know, back and forth with a few people and uh, man, got to hang out with my sweet pea again. We made blueberry lemon mug cakes. Yeah, I, my I'm the most proud of that one. That's the that's the uh, my biggest accomplishment in a long time is these these blueberry lemon. Uh, mug cakes, man. Like I felt super gourmet. I was, I was, uh, making lemon zests and stuff. Like I, I tried, first of all, little mini rant. Um, why is a lemon zester so expensive? Like, so I went to, you know, every week I normally figure out what I'm going to do with my daughter. Like what recipe we going to do is cooking is, is the thing I'm trying to make like our thing I'm trying to, cause she's real. She's like me. She's real curious and inquisitive and she wants to mix and do and touch and you know like she wants to do this kind of stuff so i figure like baking is like that introductory like an easy segue into like chemistry and you know measuring ingredients and you know like it is chemistry baking is chemistry so um i figured that would be that's that's our thing so every week I, i pick out a recipe i go through you know the ingredients make sure i got what i need um, another mini rant. I'm gonna go on a bunch of tangents because uh, this episode, as you can tell by how late it's coming out, is whatever. Uh, <laughs> but like, I got to buy all these ingredients in like pounds. Like, why you can't buy a little bit of flour or a little bit of sugar or something like that? So now I got like pounds and stuff. So we're gonna be baking for a minute because we're gonna use this because I don't use it in any other uh, aspect of my life. So I got all this, all these ingredients. But every week I go. Look at my recipe, check to see what I already have and what I need. I know I needed, I needed to get some lemon zest for this, uh, for this recipe. So I bought the lemons and then I went to buy a zester. And man, I'm like, it's a one, like it's, it's a one use tool. Like it only does one thing. Why is it so expensive? Why is it like $15 for a zester, like a lemon zester? And I just, I couldn't do it. I just couldn't do it. So, you know, my, my dumb ass is sitting here like, you know, with a sharp knife trying to cut these, you know, very thin slivers of lemon rind without getting the pith, the white part, the pith. Uh, and then like chop it up all fine. But I was very proud of myself because I did all of that. And my, and my little girl was sprinkling lemon zest on everything like she was a fairy. She was very, uh, very excited about zest and stuff. But yeah, these these lemon blueberry mud cakes uh, turned out awesome. I was very proud of myself. It was, it was a great great moment with me and my sweet pea. So uh, I'm telling everybody, you know, it's, it's no punchline to that, no nothing. I just proud dad moment. Wanted to share it with you know 
but you guys, because I, I love you guys so much. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, man, that was that was the majority of my week. And then the interesting stuff started happening. Um, because, yeah, like I told y'all last week, like it always comes down to like Sunday night and I have no idea what I'm going to talk about. I'm really like debating whether or not I'm even putting out an episode. You know, is it worth it? I don't got nothing to talk about. Ain't nobody listening anyway. Blah, blah. You know, I got all the thoughts run through my mind. And, um, and like it always happens, like Sunday night, the light bulb went off, like bing, figured out what I wanted, wanted to talk about. And, um, I just really been going back and forth about my stance on it and, and, uh, and how I was going to address it. Uh, and I just decided before I do my live show in like 30 minutes that I'm going to, I'm going to try to knock out an episode. I'm just going to do it. We're going to see what happens. But, um, but yeah, man. So pretty much, I, you know, I've been minding my business, um, doing my dad thing, doing the podcasting thing, doing the show thing. But, uh, you know, yeah, I know I, I talk about being a Neanderthal and not being aware of what's going on in the world, not understanding what y'all are talking about half the time. And these are very true statements. So, uh, man, yeah, like I'm, I'm chilling and then I keep seeing these posts, uh, about WAP, right? And I'm like, I don't know what it is. You know, I'm thinking it's just like, like literally I thought it was just like bad grammar. Like they was trying to spell something else <laughs> and it, it came out wop and like I'm I'm looking at the post like real hard, like trying to figure out what word it could have been that he was trying to say to make it make sense for him and it's it's not making sense to me. But you know, yeah, you know, I just assume it's some more shit that I don't understand because, you know, I'm not I'm not hip. Um I'm not up on what's going on. So I, I just chalked it up as that and then and I'm chilling. I'm scrolling through YouTube because that's where I get all of my my entertainment from. I don't watch TV these days. Um, and I, I I caught wind of a snippet from the Joe Budden podcast, uh, pretty much saying that WAP was this new Cardi B and Megan song. So I knew Cardi B and uh, and Megan had made a song, but you know, like, I'm, it's, it's nothing I'm checking for. So I ain't know the name of it. I ain't know nothing about it. I saw the artwork. I saw. I saw it was somewhat controversial. The people were talking about it, um, but I ain't had no plans on like seeking it out. I figured, I figured, you know, it's it's a big enough issue that it's gonna be one of those things that was gonna happen to me by accident. <laughs> like, like I had, I did not need to seek this song out. The song was going to find me. I was gonna end up trapped somewhere, you know, a barbershop or somebody's car or something, and. uh they was going to be playing it. And and that was going to be how I was finally going to be confronted with this song. Like there was no reason for me to like seek it out, go look at the video or nothing like that. Like, uh, yeah, I knew I was just going to hit it, but I was expecting like it was going to happen to me in an Uber. Like I was going to get an Uber and, and okay. We're going off on more tangents. Here's, here's something side note for Uber drivers. I've been wanting to talk about this for a minute. Um, that's my phone going off. See, I'm not prepared at all. Um, but Uber drivers, I know I give y'all a lot of shit on this show. Um, but, but honestly, like I rate all of y'all five stars every ride I get, unless you do something, you know, crazy. Like the only way you don't get a five star rating from me is like when I, when I order an Uber and I see you on the map and you like sit somewhere for 15 minutes when you're only five minutes away. Like that's how you don't get five stars from me. Um, or you say some, unnecessarily rude shit or the car stinks some some it gotta be something unnecessary if you show up you get me to where i'm trying to go like even if you want to have a conversation that's irritating to me or anything like that all the other stuff i complain about you're still getting your five stars I, I don't care but here's something here's a piece of advice that i have for you that that really is irking me uh, stop changing the radio station when i get in the car I, I, it, it bothers me when I get in some of these cars, like the person immediately, without asking me, just starts, you know, scrolling through the radio stations until they hit like urban radio or something. And, uh, and then, they, and then they pull off. Like, like, like that's, like, I asked for that. Like, I don't listen to the radio. I don't, I don't, I'm black. I love rap. I love hip hop, but I don't like the radio. I've not been a fan of like the radio what they play on the radio for a long time. So you're not earning no brownie points for me by doing that. In fact, it feels, <laughs> it feels like low key racist. Like it feels like, you know, you're making an assumption 
on what I want to hear. Maybe the only time that I get, you know, my uh, NPR fix is in the Uber. So if you was listening to your political radio station, I might have wanted to rock with that. I might have wanted to just hear what's going on in the world because I'm not going to do it on my free time, you know. So it happens to me in Ubers. The same way I noticed, like, Cardi B song is probably going to happen to me in a barbershop or some shit. But, like, yeah, there's things I hear other music that I'm, that I wouldn't hear other places. I, you know, maybe you got some reggaeton playing or maybe you listening to the country stuff. I'm in Texas, whatever. Like, unless I seem irritated or I ask or you ask me if there's something I want to listen to. And I, and if you ask me personally, nine times out of ten, I'm going to be like, nah, I'm good with whatever you're doing. Like, but don't do the automatic change the radio station. That shit is that shit is borderline infuriating to me. Unless you're listening to like Confederate fight songs or something like that. Like it's more offensive for you to assume that I want to listen to whatever pop music they call in hip hop these days than what it is that you or we cannot listen to nothing. Like really, this is a cab ride. This is this is a this is a somewhat I don't know social media born cab ride i just need you to get me to where i'm trying to get to we don't have to have a conversation we don't have to be friends we don't have to listen to the same music you can listen to whatever it is that you were listening to i ain't never had a cab driver change the music for me same situation i understand you're gonna get your for me you're gonna get your five stars as long as i show up where i was trying to get in a timely fashion don't do the low key i don't know man it bothers me all right Let's let's listen to NPR or whatever. I'm good with that. You're already brave in the pandemic, you know. Why give up your listening rights to your radio? That's that's sacred. Anyway. Anyway, I digress. Um <laughs> So yeah, man, like I said, I seen the, the Joe Button podcast snippet and so I was like, all right, you know, let me let me inquire. And so um yeah, then I found out what what WAP was. And I'm not, I'm not gonna go into it. Uh, I'm not a big fan of that word. I'm not, I'm, I don't want to call myself a conservative or approved. I'm, I'm definitely not approved when it comes down to actions. I don't think, you know, uh-huh. <laughs> but, uh, I, I did, it, there are certain words that I'm, I'm less comfortable with than others. That's not one of my favorites. So, uh, so yeah, I'm not gonna repeat the title of the song. Y'all know what it means. I'm sure y'all know way more than I know. Um, but yeah, man, I don't know. Um, I, I I heard what the song was going to be about. I saw the cover art. I know people was discussing it and, um, and I, yeah, man, I, I know maybe you thought I was going to give my opinion or, or thoughts on it. Maybe this was, this episode was going to be my review of the song, but surprise. Yes. No, I'm not. No, no, nope, nope. Not doing it. Can't do it. Won't do it. No, I can't do it. Um, I realized in thinking about this song that I, that I will admit right now I haven't heard. Like I said, I, I I'm not seeking it out because I feel like it's gonna, it's gonna find me. It's gonna catch me. Yeah. You know? Like I don't, I don't have to want to listen to it. It's gonna make me listen to it. And, uh, I got a few homies that have heard it. You know, I've seen, I've seen people's faces change. Like, like it's been the first time in a long time. Like, like you mentioned that song and somebody's facial expression changed. Like, and not in the, you know, the screw face, like, damn, that joint go or whatever. Like, it's been like, hey, oh, yeah, that, whoa. Like, you know, like, like, and I'm talking about people who listen to the, the radio and listen to, you know, this music that's out there. Like, people seem to be shocked. I'm, and it's again, it's another one of those like bullshit deflection, you know, things that I have. Like, if you tell me something stinks, I don't want to smell it. Like, if you tell me it's nasty, I don't want to taste it. Like, if I see people, having this sort of reaction to something, I'm not the one that got to run over there and see what everybody looking at. Like, uh, obviously something over there is fucking with people. So, uh, I'm gonna let it stay over there. And then I just based off the title and the things that I've, I've seen people say, I re I realized that, um, that, yeah, man, like every thought that I had about approaching, discussing this song, I realized, like, nah, you can't say that. <laughs> like, nah, you can't. No, mm -mm, no, ooh, no, hell no, you can't say that. Nah, damn, dog, nah, that was ugly. You need to change your thoughts. You need to go. You need to pray. Go to church. Something like, yeah. I mean, I just, I realized, like, I'm, 
I'm that much in Neanderthal. Like I can't even, I can't even approach this topic. No matter, like these people got hives. You know, like they got, they got fan bases that will, what's what's the term? Drag you. Like I, I'm not trying to get drug. Is drug the past tense of drag? These are the things I don't know. But I know, I know better than to step in this one. Ain't gonna do it. Not going to do it. Like you know, I've expressed my thoughts about Cardi B before. Um, and I stand behind him. I stand behind him as jokes, as jokes. You know, I did have to walk it back a little bit and admit that, you know, her music is not for women that wash paper plates, but for people that wash paper plates, you know, but I still agree with the overall sentiment. Um, uh, that is my critique on her music. If you can call it that, you know, and by that, I don't mean, you know, that, you can't call it music. I'm not sure you can call it hers, but <laughs> shouts to partisan. I'm not going to go any further down that. But I mean, this is what I, this is how I was feeling. Like I can't do it. Like, I, I can't have an opinion on this song. I don't want to hear it. Cause I know if I hear it, I will have opinions on it. And then I'm going to want to say something and everything that I want to say, it's not appropriate. So, you know, get thee behind me, Satan. I'm not going to do it. Y'all not going to get me today. Really, uh, if there's a way that you all can help me, is that I, I'm looking for like a re-education program. Like I'm looking, I really do feel like that I could be wrong. Like I feel like my the reason that I, I I'm not willing to discuss this thing <laughs> is that I don't feel strongly enough about my beliefs anymore to to stand behind them. You know. And I'm, and that bothers me. And so I, I would like a, you know, I need to, I need to be educated on this, on this new world and this, the, the, you know, the way people, the way people think nowadays. Like I'm telling you, though, I legitimately saw these posts about WAP, and in my mind, I spent large periods of time trying to figure out like what word they was trying to spell and got fucked up. Like that's, that's how far out the game I am. So yeah, like now nah, I'm uh I'm honestly trying to like I w- I need I would like to engage people on like trying to understand this this new world is you know this new expression and uh, what's cool and what's not cool. I, I don't want to be offensive. I want to be friend. I want I, I love everybody. I want to I want I just want to be friendly and uh, and get along and for us to be happy around one another. I'm not trying to piss anybody off. And I feel like everything I think would piss somebody off. So I would, uh, I really need to like, I don't know. I really need to, to get into some sort of like re-education. I, I, I see myself like being one of those people you got to like tie down and hold their eyelids open and just like play a bunch of videos until it erases all the shit that I think. I think that's the only, only hope I got. And I don't know. Like I, I want to do it. Not so much because I want my opinions to change, but there's a part of me that's like, yeah, I, I need to just sit down and hear these, you know, hear these points of view out so that I can walk away and be like, yeah, well, it is all bullshit. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, 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 yeah no, no, we can say that because, uh, yeah, that what they just said was bullshit. Like, that's, <laughs> that's the part of me that's really in it. It's like until I have the conversation with you, until I have a conversation with these people and, and really understand the other side, I don't feel comfortable calling it bullshit. I'm gonna try not to enter the, the conversation with that bias, but I, I'll be honest with you. Like that's that's where I am. But see how that you see how I feel. Uh, I don't feel informed enough to call bullshit bullshit. <laughs> like I'm trying to say it without saying it because I don't feel I don't feel like I can stand on that. Hill. I'm not ready to die on that hill. I'm not, I don't feel like I had the information to go up there and die on that hill. I want to be up on that hill. That's that's mentally I'm up on that hill, but I'm not gonna walk up there just yet until I know I got the ammunition I need to survive on that hill. I've seen people go up that hill and die, and I yo, wise man learns from other people's mistakes. But yeah, man, like um, I don't know about this this wop thing. <laughs> what I will say is that I hope from what I've seen on the back and forth. And the um, the discussions being had about you know, whether the song is offensive or not or, or, or whatever. And I'm not, don't, you know, I'm not, I don't have a dog in a fight. I'm not trying to dodge the laser beams to figure out, you know, 
the right way to talk about that. I just want to say that from what I've seen, the arguments that I've seen people use, when I fuck up, when I fuck up and say something horrible, and I believe it's going to happen at some point, I hope that y'all will use the same, y'all go back and use like 90s hip hop as the the bar to judge me against. That when I say the horrible shit, when I say the offensive shit, when I say the shit that seems too far, you'll be like, nah, that's the same shit they used to say. I've seen y'all use their argument in their situations. I'm hoping I can get it too. I'm putting it out there now. Like, just, I grew up in that era. That's what I was raised on. If that was cool then, and that's what you're saying is the reason that it's cool now, then let it be cool when I do it. Because I'm going to do it. I'm not trying to do it. I just feel like it's going to be, it's going to happen. I don't know. That's all I got to say about the top. That's, that's, <laughs> I think you should give me credit for doing a whole show about how I'm not going to talk about something. That was that was difficult to do. It was very difficult to uh, plan for and to write a script for, and I did it. And I executed it. I'm like 21 minutes in. I'm almost done my 30 minutes. I feel good about myself. I think I need a I think I need a round of applause for doing a whole show about what I'm not going to talk about. That's brave right there. That's brave. I'll pat myself on the back for that one. But. With all that being said, um, <laughs> we could continue this conversation. I ain't going to say continue this conversation because by the time you hear this, I will probably already have done the live show. But the live show is happening um, this week and every week, Tuesday from uh, 9 p.m. Eastern to 10 p.m. I'm normally in there longer than that. You know, We can vibe for as long as you want to vibe, but the, I'm going to be in there for at least an hour. So uh, 9 p.m. Eastern, 8 p.m. Central on Tuesday nights, I do a live show at Get Vocal, G E T. V O K L dot com. Um, come check it out. If you haven't already, subscribe to the podcast. I know I don't, I'm not good at call to actions. Um, calls to action, not calls to call, uh, whatever, calls to action. But, uh, if you haven't, subscribe to the podcast. If you listen to this episode, if you listen to any other episodes and, and my point of view is interesting to you or, um, whatever, you just want to support black man trying to be great. Subscribe to the podcast. Subscribe. Those those numbers, I watch the numbers like a hawk, and those numbers mean a lot to me. So it, it would mean something to me personally just to see them subscription numbers go up. We in a pandemic. Holla at your boy. Anyway, uh, buy some merch. Got new shirts out there. Uh, three different versions of the logo, the classic, the rebrand, and the alternative. The alternative was a little inside joke. Um, you won't get it, but it's cool. Uh Man, I want to shout out my podcasting family and the people that, uh, you know, the shows I steal from and the people that, like, I, I, I steal inspiration from. Uh, Dre's Point of View, uh, Glenn and Her Podcast, um, man, Tamara Dawn, uh, Jay from Just Say Words, Zoe View, uh, Whatever Man Podcast, um, Hashtag Blackout, Blackout Podcast. It yeah, just, you know... I've I've been amazed at how much like a family this podcasting community is, and how it's it's not a it's not a competition. Everybody feels like there's enough listens out there for everyone else, and we just big up each other. It's it's a lot of black love out there. Y'all need to participate. It's beautiful. It's fucking beautiful. <laughs> but really, man, that's that's all I got. I'm proud of myself for doing a show about nothing. <laughs> I did a whole show about what I wasn't going to talk about. Uber drivers, get your shit together. Stop changing the radio station. Um, speaking of 90s hip hop, if that's the standard we judging things by, I'm going to rock out on something uh, in that vein. <laughs> Pun intended. You'll get it soon. But, uh, <laughs> but uh, man, until we speak again, be safe, be the light. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Y'all be cool. Very hurry to finish, very alone Tell my dog what's necessary about how I bury the bone She said When you're ready to blast, don't ask, say man I was screaming like lightning loose when I was halfway in In the past, I used to send them back, give them the minimum Now I leave them with venom on their chin when I'm bending them Y'all know the name, get it engraved, sex slave Stadium style from the back, ass doing the wave huh? Yelling at me, it's a felony Hella be froze over when I celebrate Celebrity case closed, my dick rules Everything around me, dream, get the ass